Hey guys, it's VW again. It's uh, the Friday after Thanksgiving, and I'm over at my parents' house. They actually went to Florida, but uh, I didn't go with them because I tend to get hit harder um, if I don't have any enclosure or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to make a short video, just kind of letting y'all know where I'm at. Uh, the last two weeks, um, or I guess two weeks ago, one of my very good friends, and this is from, you know, I, I pray to God a lot, and God worked through, through this friend, um, and I got a great job. Um, I've got basically two great jobs where I help, you know, cancer patients and other sick people. Um, I don't want to go into the details of my job. I don't want to give too much away about, about what specifically I'm doing, but it's to help people, and I get to make money. And that's straight from God. He's holding me up. Uh, he's really holding me up through friends, through my family. Uh, he works through us. So, um, you know, just keep faith. You know, I, I haven't been making a lot of videos. I made one when I got back from Green Bank uh, because I was very disappointed. You know, I thought that would be a cure-all. I thought we could get away from these people. Um, but it just goes on and on. You know, at my parents' house, it's a little bit better. Uh, when I go home, you know, I need to, I'm going to make a video of my enclosure because what happens is I put all this aluminum foil and aluminum polyester in it and it just sinks down to the middle. And so then I have to like crawl into this little cave to sleep under it. And my dog does too. Um, it's, uh, it's like embarrassing and degrading. Um, and this guy, there's two, there's, um, the Hispanic household and the guy who's running it, ex-military, um, he enjoys seeing stuff like this. I mean, he likes seeing me struggle, and he wants to hurt me more because of it. Um, and it's so weird. It's such a bizarre situation. But the thing is, and you know, I don't want to talk too much about specifics because I talk to specifics about to, to y'all, and then he gets uh, he gets those specifics too because he's you know remote neural monitoring me and, and what have you. Um, but, uh, for these last two weeks since I've had the job, uh, you know, I go to the job, I go home, uh, you know, I talk to my family. I don't, I haven't said in two weeks, I have not responded to them. And I have to say, and maybe they'll, they'll get something out of this where they can hurt me more. I, I don't know. But I want to tell y'all, when you don't talk to them and you don't connect like that, they're still going to abuse you. They're still going to harass you. But it's a lot less because what you do when you talk to them or you yell at them is you, you kind of you, um, you give them your arms. They pull your arms in. You know, they use that stuff to kind of to, to grapple with you. Um, so they're still going to hurt you, um, you know, if you don't talk to them. But it's a lot more peaceful. This stuff does work on a psychological basis and a connection between human beings. Uh, even though it is technology that is mic shooting microwaves at you and, you know, shooting microwaves at your visual cortex, it does, there is a human element, um, like a psychological element. So if you cut yourself off as much as you can from that, go through the pain, but be your own person. Don't let them get you yelling and kicking things and acting like a monster. You're in much better, you're in much better shape. And, uh... This is what I'll be doing. I mean, if this guy keeps doing this for 20 years, um, you know, I'm not going to talk to him anymore. Uh, I, I want to be me. I want to be uh, the best the best that God has made me to be. Um, he's providing for me through friends who have a lot of faith. And it, so it's possible to live a, an okay, peaceful life. They're still going to hit you with the ELF, the, uh, the EHF the V2K. At my new job, they uh, terrorize me and torture me while I'm at my job. And I actually drive a van uh, to deliver. Uh, I won't go into too many details, but they do. Uh, they microwave me in the van. When I was training with my friend, uh, they were stopping stoplights and the, the one light cars uh, to harass. So this is an American going to a job, uh, really trying to hold on to it. And, and make money and, and support his family and they like they don't honor anything there's nothing to them he, he, he'll cross any line I mean 
he'll attack me and torture me and terrorize me at my job because he's anonymous and he's not going to get caught. And that's what matters to him. Uh, I couldn't imagine that anything else mattered to him in, in life. Uh, I know this is, this is pretty, uh, I guess, a depressed video. It's not really because God, uh, God's providing for me. And he gave me a job that even with the torture and the stuff they're doing to me, is uh, it's doable. It's doable. I'm good at it. I'm good with you know the patients I work with, and the thing the thing about it is I saw a video and there was like seven people there at this uh, I guess it was a meeting for targeted individuals where they gave their testimony. Uh, they all met at a hotel, and five out of the seven of them were nurses. They were nurses who worked in hospitals taking care of sick people, and these nurses, these five nurses, uh, were being uh, you know, tortured and terrorized just like me. Um, so I, I don't know. The insanity behind it is so dark, and, and I can't even, I, I can't figure it out. You know, the friend that gave me the job, he doesn't even believe me. You know, he thinks it's a delusion. And that hurts because I have to have, you know, aluminum and everything above me, and people are, you know, they're like, you know, just get rid of that, and then you can get a girlfriend in a regular life. Uh, so I'm trying to get there. Uh, maybe this guy will stop in the future, or these weapons will be banned. So, like, lots of things can happen. Like, I want to be involved. Um, if y'all have a plan or a petition to sign, uh, get in touch with me. Uh, my trip to Green Bank was, was great, and it was a vacation, but uh, I saw uh, some really scary gang stalking things uh, going on there, um, and it seems to be worldwide, worldwide of uh, torturing people 24-7. Um, I, don't, I don't know what this means. It's so big and evil that I can't wrap my, my mind around it. I can't do that. Um, and I talk to all my, my nice friends. They're, they're good. They want to do good. They want to have jobs and help their families. And they don't believe in this. Um, and like I say all the time, it's like good Good guys got to get our heads out of our booties because there are there are people in our society who are planning to kill people. They they have like sophisticated weaponry that if they get a hold of this, um, they'll torture somebody. They don't care about their life. They'll make up stuff. It doesn't matter. They'll kill you, and then they'll make up a reason that why they had to kill you. Um, and it is it is scary. Some of the videos that I showed from Green Bank. Uh, which I know the the jet streams like there were forty forty Air Force uh, you know jets going up around those two little cities, and you know one of my one of my friends and I don't talk to him a lot but I see his videos he comments and he was like no you, you know it's for all of us and it actually you know it's it's kind of um, I don't know what they call it geo. Uh, I, where where it affects the weather, and I noticed that when these forty jets went up, they did the jet streams for Monday and Tuesday, right before I was coming back uh, from Green from Green Bank. It was hotter. The weather was hotter. It had snowed. It was cold. Then these guys went and shot all these jet streams up there, and it was uh, it was like uh, noticeably warmer in the area. Um, so, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff they're probably trying to do uh, to all human beings to, to soft kill us or whatever. Um, and I guess they pick out marginalized people to soft kill us faster with microwaves. Um, I'm very thankful to God. He's given me a job, and you know, I've actually got two jobs, uh, and they involve helping people who really need help. Um, and I'm thankful for that, and I'll fight through it. Um, you know, but yeah, I was at, I'm at my new job, you know, trying to impress the manager, and this guy hits me, you know, hits me in the chest with, uh, electromagnetic energy while I'm talking to her. Um, if I eat, you know, he's always there to shoot it at my neck. Um, if I shed tears, uh, they can shoot you in the eye when you have water in your eye, and it hurts a lot more than if it's, a, if your eyes are cleared. Um... I just want to tell y'all what, what's going on with me. Uh, I'm a little bit burnt out, like, because it's 24-hour day torture. 
I'm, I'm at my parents' house because they went to Florida. I would have loved to have gone to Florida with them. We did our Thanksgiving on Sunday for the whole family. Now my family is, is spread all around doing Thanksgiving uh, in different places. Um, I, I just... I just wanted to check in with y'all and say that, that God has really helped me out. He's given me people around me to pull me up, and they don't necessarily believe what I'm saying uh, about this um, you know, organized gang stalking, shooting microwaves into people's houses, but they still help me. Um, it's weird because I, like, I'm like i really good at this job. I picked it up fast. I don't have any cognitive like lapses or anything like that. I'm not crazy. Um, so, and then I, and I tell people, I have 21,000 views on my YouTube, because I told y'all what I was going to, well, I think I told y'all, like, in one of the last videos, I see that we don't get a lot of views for individual videos, like, we get 400 in about uh, three months or something like that. When I did talk about, when, I, when my title was Remote Neural Monitoring, that was the highest count uh, I got like 1,500 in a couple months. So I really do want to talk about that. Um, I'm just find, trying to find a proper way to do it because I am on the other side of it. Um, I know they're doing it to me. Uh, I know that they can like see through your eyes. So if you look in a mirror, like I hear a lot of insults. Like, yeah, yeah, he is crazy. Look. So they've got a lot of power. They've got a lot of power to shoot a microwave, to see through your eyes, and even use you as a uh, piece of surveillance equipment. Um, that's pretty scary, because I guess once a guy, I mean, this guy, I think at first was like, oh, high-pitched sound, uh, I'm going to just do this, and then total corruption. He gets the new toys every, every so often. He gets the new ways to torture people, and now it's just a totally corrupt thing um, that, that nobody can really control. And he's got people that are like, yeah, burn this guy up. I hear him on uh, Voice of Skull. I mean, at my at my job, like I hear him, like I'll be driving the van and I'll hear him there, but like, burn this guy up, dude. This guy's retarded. They watch everything I do during my job, and like they're microwaving people to death. But if I like, I don't know, get a piece of paper out and have to correct something on the piece of paper, they're like, yeah, see, he's retarded or whatever. Like they really reach, like they they want to kill and maim and microwave people, and they reach for a reason to do it. You know, they reach, and they're like, oh, the, yeah, this guy's retarded, and blah, 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 blah. But it's all just, it's all made up. You know, it's all made up so they can so they can kill whoever they want to kill, slowly and with torture. Um, and I don't know. I mean, going, going to Green Bank, coming back here, getting this job, like, I know I can keep this job because the people there... You know, they're so nice. They're so religious. Um, like, God gave me a haven there. And I'll be able to make money and defend myself against this guy. My mom's going to make me move out of my house, um, you know, pretty shortly. And I'm going to have to get, like, an Airstream trailer or something. But I, at least I'll have that job making money and I can help my family out. So that's a blessing. And it's taken a while for that. Um, I hope you guys are doing good in your situations. Um, you know, uh, I hope that you aren't hurting too bad. Um, it, it really has though, and I have to, I guess I have to say that and it might ruin my little thing I have going here because I really haven't been tortured too bad over the last two days, but, uh, not responding to them, um, going about your life. Uh, you know, if you're at work, that, that takes power away from them. It takes power away from uh, actually the microwave stuff they're shooting because there's a psychological component to it especially with the remote neural monitoring uh, you have to be hooked in you have to be you know yelling you have to be at a certain state for this stuff to work real good and I know it's the hardest thing in the world because we're Americans we think we need to defend ourselves but right now what we need to do is uh, be the best people we can be and show these guys that this is not necessary there, I, I mean, there might come a time. There might come a time when this comes out in the courts. Uh, you know, there will be police that can help us. There might be a time to fight. Uh, right now, it'll just get you in trouble. Not, not, not enough people know about this to where you can attack your neighbor and defend yourself, and you'll be okay. You'll be in the clear. Not enough people know about it. 
the, the wrong people know about it, the people who are corrupt and will protect your neighbor uh, you know, while he's shooting microwaves at you. Those are the people who know about it right now. So, but there will come a time. You know, there will come a time or they'll be banned. Uh, now is the time to be as peaceful as you can, to be as productive as you can, um, to just really ignore, ignore. Because when, a, when you ignore a psychopath, um, you know, he's going to get, he's going to get all mad and he's going to show who he really is. And, and that's, that, I mean, two weeks, these last two weeks since I got that job, um, I have not responded to them, nor will I respond to them anymore, no matter how bad it gets, uh, because it is, it really helps. It really helps physically, mentally. It's helped me to, to not feel, uh, so crappy about myself, um, and so I'm at about 15 minutes, but I just wanted to check in with y'all. Uh, I am doing good, uh, you know, regardless of what they're doing to me. Um, you know, uh, it's a really hard situation. I know y'all know that. Um, it seems like it's so unreasonable, and it's just murder for no reason. And they grab for reasons to murder you. Um... I want to show y'all, I think on the next video, I'm going to show y'all my enclosure, how everything started kind of going to the center, and then it's like I barely had any room in there, and then I kind of used this, um, uh, it's a rope, it's like kind of a nylon rope that kind of uh, stretches, and I think that might be a good way to put anything above you is to get two ropes, you know, nail them to each side of whatever room you got in them, and then just start draping things over that instead of taping things. Because when you tape things, the tape wears out. If you got your heater going, the, the heat, um, you know, will melt the tape. And then you've got this, this huge mess. Uh, and I've always used tape, but there's much better ways to do it than, than just to throw it together with tape. Um, I really love you guys. I want to say a prayer. Uh, it's Friday after Thanksgiving. Um, like, I really love you guys. I hope y'all are doing all right. And, and you know, watch my Green Bank videos. Uh, I have heavy gang stalking. I have a guy who uh, can pretty much satellite hit me anywhere I go in the country so far. And I'm, I haven't left the country. Um, but he can do that. And he can, he can lie to policemen in the area. So my, my gang stalking is very heavy. Um, so I don't want to say don't go to Green Bank because it didn't work for me. Uh, it did work a little bit. Um, but you might, depending on your level of gang stalking, you might want to try it. And it might help and it might, it might end it. You know, if you're in the right place and they can't follow you around or remotely hit you. I mean, my guy, he, he's remotely hit me with ELF in an airplane uh, in my chest. When the plane goes up, uh, you know, it stops. Um, he has, you know, shot microwaves in my head, uh, in my chest while I'm at work delivering stuff. Um, it, it has no boundaries because he can hide and it's not like, oh, I'm, you know, hurting an American or terrorizing an American at his job. It's just, he doesn't want me to have that job. He wants me to be fired. He wants crazy stuff to go on so that I'll be fired and I won't have finances to fight against them. He wants to destroy me, like, in every other way, so that then it'll finally lead to my death, where he's got me on the street, and he can hit me there, and he can get people, um, you know, more mobilized when I'm running around without a house or something like that. I mean, it's, it's a very evil program. They do certain things. They want you to look schizophrenic, uh, which, which I do to a lot of psychiatrists, psychologists, um, it's, it's very, uh, hopeful, though, that even though people don't believe this, my friends, they're lining up to help me, you know, they take it upon themselves, a really religious friend took it upon himself, he was like, you know, I'm, I'm here for you, man, I'm a soldier with you, you know, and he's even talking about, you know, uh, I don't know, going over to my neighbor's house, not, like, doing anything, but asking if he could help him cut his tree, and trying to, to find out some information, I really, uh, my family and uh, my friends, I really want them to not even, to say they don't believe me, even if they do, uh, because these people are dangerous, and they'll hit you, um, they'll hit you and you won't even know that you're in a fight with them. You know, they'll kill you and cause you medical issues and the ringing in the ears, even if you don't even know that you're in a fight. Um, 
and, and I, do, I do get worried that I hang around my friends, they say something that's a little uncouth, or it's between two people privately, and these guys are surveilling me, so they hear it, and they're like, oh, see, yeah, they're crazy, blah, blah, blah. Um, I get very scared about that. My Aunt Brenda and my mother have, uh, on their heads, they have electrical pains along this side of their heads, and that's, I feel that when this guy is hitting me with the ELF. My dad's had an aneurysm. Like, all these things added together, I really do want my, my family not to believe me. Um, you know, so I guess they wouldn't be targeted. I don't know how these guys target people because I wasn't doing anything that bad. I was smoking pot, and I'm a peaceful, reasonable guy, and they are killing me with hate. And, like, you know, what comes on the V2K is just like, yeah, fucking microwave them. My, my, kill them off, you know? And it's a thoughtless, they don't even think much of it. So I worry about it when I'm sitting with my parents and my mom says, oh yeah, I've got this new electrical pain along the top of my head and it's just like my Aunt Brenda who, who started having it a couple months ago that they've moved on to other members of my family. They've gotten bored and you know they want to kill other people. Um, it, it is so scary like that. It's because I, I don't think this guy has morals or anything like that. He's not doing it for a reason. He wants to kill a person and dominate, and then he feels good about himself. Um, it has nothing to do with truth or protection or justice or America or Constitution. Um, it's sick. It's, like, really sickening. Um, and but, but God's watching all this. Like, and there's a song that says, you know, he knows. He knows. So if even people don't believe you, like, I know what you're going through. Um, God knows what you're going through. You've got people who know what you're going through. You're a warrior. I mean, and what I said on my last video in, uh, in, you know, Green Bank, we have been conscripted into war. You know, these guys sit in the comfort of their own home, and they murder American citizens. I saw the guy today. Uh, he was outside with his wife, and he's wearing his Army jacket. And he's wearing his Army jacket, and it says U.S. Army on it. And uh, so he's obviously um, insane where he thinks this is a military mission to kill uh, some guy who lives alone on private property. And he's turned it into some kind of military, you know, like he's the good guy and he's torturing somebody in his sleep. Um, it's sick to me. That's sick. It's very dumb. It's very dumb and it's taken everything that our country believes in. And it's warping it and twisting it until you, you can't even tell what it is. And then you got people, you know, who, I mean, he's wearing an army jacket. He's like, I'm U.S. Army. This citizen over here, he can die. Like, I mean, I don't know where he's even coming from. I don't know what that even means. Like, that he can kill innocent American citizens and wear an army jacket and everything's okay. Um, that's horrifying. It's horrifying. Um... All right, I've been very serious in this video, um, but I just want to say I love you guys. I've got a couple of more videos coming down the pike. I'm going to actually put out a video of jet streams I saw before I went to Green Bank. I wanted to get the Green Bank stuff up uh, first, and uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't get away from it there. Like I don't want to lie. I wish I had. I wish I had, and I wish it was a safe haven for all of us. But. Um, you know, you'll see that in the videos, um, and I, I will find a solution. Uh, we'll all find a solution. We'll be working towards uh, more legal things that can stop uh, these murderers from murdering us in our houses. I just noticed, though, when I don't, like, you know, I just cover up, I defend myself, I go to my parents' house, and I don't even, I don't even talk at a, you know, at a normal tone to say anything like, this is crazy to them because they're so far gone. This guy is so far gone into evil. You know, he wants to kill people. Um, you know, I don't know if he'll attack my family or not. So anything I say, even if it's positive, like, hey, man, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not going to hurt your family. I just want to get away from you and live my life. I mean, I'm going to a job. Like, I get up every day, you know, from a night. They're trying to torture me at night. And I get up, and right when I get up, I hear the V2K like, oh, no, no, we've got to do this. He's great. You know, I'm, I'm getting up, and I'm getting ready to go to a job. And that's great that I guess that this is his job now, but I've never heard of any jobs where it was like, 
okay, his job is to keep me hurt um, so I can't get a job, so I can't help my family, uh, separate me from my family, you know, make people think that I'm crazy, uh, torture me while he does. I mean, that's his job. And I'm trying to get up and go to, like, an honest job where I'm driving around, I'm driving medical equipment to uh, sick people. And that's why I saw those nurses on that video. There were five of them. And I'm like, I'm a nurse, and I'm being tortured in my home. And they're all women nurses. They're nurses who help sick people. Um, and it, it's just, it, it seems obvious to me. It seems obvious. If a man's job is to kill a bunch of people, and like, I don't know if he's getting money for it. I don't, it's just satisfaction from killing somebody. Uh, because, you know, he can get away with it. It's a thrill. I, I don't, I don't care. I really don't care what he's doing. Um, he really is an enemy of America. He's an enemy of, of everything that we hold dear. Uh, he spins it. He tries to kill people. He gets people to back him up because he's military and he knows policemen. Um, and there are. There are policemen that care of Amy. And I'm not sure if they've been lied to or if they are complicit in gang stalking. Um, there are microwave weapons floating around to be used on U.S. citizens. Um, and they pick, they pick the wrong people, obviously. I mean, like, they pick people who aren't dangerous because they don't want some murderer to come attack them. They want people who will back down and they can just torture them and enjoy the torture. Um, I don't understand where this philosophy comes from. I never will. I'll never understand that philosophy of when there's so much trouble in the world, let's you know, create more trouble, let's Hegelian dialectic, let's cause a problem, let's uh, get a reaction from the neighborhood, and then I got the solution, we'll kill this guy, but he's causing it all, like, I'm in my house, I haven't bothered anybody, um, the only thing I do is try and get away from it, and at this point, I will never yell or beat a wall again, because he actually almost killed me with confused police officers that he lied to, um, so, I mean, the fact that he would ever think that he's a good guy and he's doing this for the country, uh, it boggles my mind. I, I don't know what kind of beliefs he could have. They're bizarre. They're the most bizarre beliefs that you could ever have and hold. And, um, you know, I know that's negative, but um, I, I am doing a lot better. Uh, you know, ignoring it does, it does help to a certain degree. I mean, it doesn't, it seems like, unfair because you should be able to passionately say I'm an American and you're killing me and you have no right to kill me but he's hiding in his house and he's like justifying it and he can hide it and say no no we got to do this because he's retarded you know oh no no we got to do this we got to do it um almost like a, a mobster covering up you know somebody who can who can um uh, testify against them or something it's it's real dirty like, it's dirty, it's not honorable. Um, I, I can't imagine military people uh, killing uh, American citizens and thinking this is some kind of new war where they just need to reduce the population, people who aren't dangerous, you know. I, I don't know what's in his head. Uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody will ever know. Uh, he'll deny any kind of dark beliefs or anything like that. He'll never say what he really believes. Uh, that's his whole thing, because to get away with this... He has to use propaganda. He has to just be like, this guy's retarded. Just demonize me and not say anything that's real. And he's got the weapons, so he can do it and just shove people out of the way or, you know, promise people things that they'll get uh, if they murder Americans. Um, it's very serious. Uh, and, and I do want to uh, give a shout-out to anybody who's not a targeted individual. If you're a lawyer... Uh, or your senator or your representative, uh, this is killing Americans, and it's killing good Americans who just want to help their family. It's it's more than torture. It's 24-hour a day torture and imprisonment. Um, I have to fight uh, so hard just to go to a normal job. I have to get up after a whole night because they'll stay up all night shooting microwaves into the place where I sleep, and I have to struggle to get up to go to an honest job. Um, you know, I'm not a drug dealer, I'm not a killer, I'm not a bank robber, I'm none of those things. I'm a regular guy who's like, I want to make money to help my family. And it is a trial every day. 
and I know when I'm out there, he's using, he's using that time when I'm at my job and not in my enclosure to hurt me worse. Um, a, an American citizen had an honest job that he got, and this guy is t remotely shooting microwave signals at my chest and my head and all the people I work around. And if, if I'm, in a, I'm in a work van, you know, he's still stalking me on the streets. Um, this is real. Uh, it's 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 very, very evil. Um, I don't see I, this guy. He's gung ho about it. He's like, we've got to do it. Like he's apparently uh, gone insane and corrupt to a point where you couldn't talk him out of it. This is what he does now for his life. Uh, for the next twenty years, he would do this. He would watch his daughters grow up and do this to me in my house while I struggled to help my family and struggled to go to a regular job. And I struggled to write grants for cancer patients. He would do it uh, forever. Uh, he's like addicted to it, I guess. Um, it's, it's very sad. I don't see how people uh, could be this insane. Like I, I, don't, I don't have context for why somebody would be an insane murderer uh, to somebody who's not physically dangerous and just try and make stuff up, you know. Um, he started torturing me before I even said anything against him and said anything against him in my own home where he shouldn't have been able to hear it. Um, but I love you guys. I want to end it with a prayer because uh, it's after Thanksgiving, and I know I was kind of, um, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's all the time. It's all the time torture, and we're human beings, so... Uh, you know, let yourself be depressed sometimes. Try and keep upbeat. God's got us in his hands. It's like what he's doing with me. Uh, I know this will come out good. I know I'll be able to help people who are going through this and even stop this. It has to stop soon. Uh, America is not evil. The majority of Americans are not evil. And there's like a percentage of uh, bizarre people who are in like secret... Um, like secret cults or secret organizations where they've got bizarre beliefs about like who we are and you know their rights to just kill people or whatever it's bizarre and I don't understand it I don't want to understand it um, I want to help y'all as much as I can I want to help my family if I can keep this job um, you know the manager is very nice to me um, and it is something that that um, the, the the actual harassment I'd call it torture on the job doesn't affect it much I can you know get past it because you know you know I'm driving around medical equipment so um, I just want to just end in the our father in the name of the father son holy spirit our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, uh, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Um, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, stick with God. Get spiritual. Uh, he will find a way for to provide for you. Um, this has to. Uh, it has to end soon, um, because it's a lot of Americans just kind of sitting in their homes, remotely microwaving people. It's uh, the darkest thing I could ever think of a human being doing. You know, it's not for defense. It's to have fun. It's like a fun game where they rip down somebody financially and physically. Uh, they watch their family struggle. Um, these are these are not just fantastical things made up by me. This is what has happened to me. Uh, you know, they split up families, uh, less trust in families, while they physically isolate you and torture you in your house. Um, I've been lucky because I made an enclosure, and I'll show you my enclosure. Uh, it's a mess, but if I get up in there and I sleep, it's it's pretty good. The only thing, um, you know, it's 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 pretty good. I mean, it's like I get a night of sleep and I crawl out, and I'm a little bit tired, but I'm not burning from microwave stuff. So, um, but it is aluminum and aluminum polyester, and I'm thinking that uh, copper may be better because copper. Um, it just seems like it's a it's less uh, conductive to the EMF, um, but it's really expensive. So, you know, I'll let y'all know what I'm doing after I do it. Uh, I'm not gonna 
say I'm doing this now because then they can kind of plan about how to uh, how to torture me through that. Um, I love you guys. Good is in this world. Um, you know, we've got to uh, we've got to get our strength from God. We've got to keep keep our strength. Don't give up. Don't give up. I mean, it is a war. We are soldiers. Um, it's it's a nasty war where they're kind of comfortably just bombing us with microwaves and having fun watching you live your real life. And, you know, every once in a while, you know, just microwaving your chest when you're talking to somebody important uh, that you, you may need to help you in your life. You know, so they, they're trying to destroy things. That's what this guy's... Um, you know, his modus operandi or whatever, he's trying to destroy lives and destroy opportunities, uh, create, uh, like, bad scenarios for me uh, where I can get hurt worse. Um, and that's, you know, his mission. That's these guys' missions. Uh, I guess there are certain people who, who they create stuff and they think that's joyous and that's beautiful. And there are people who, I mean, this guy... He has, the, like, some connections in the Air Force. He has connections in the police force. Um, it's wasting a lot of money. It's wasting a lot of uh, taxpayers' money, military money, military funds, um, you know, police funds. Uh, and I'm not dangerous. I'll never do anything dangerous. Um, I, I think it's time for us to, and, and I'm a nerd, so to go Professor Xavier and to be the peaceful people and just prove these guys wrong. We've got to prove these guys wrong to get help from the right people. And maybe there will come a day when we can fight. Um, you know, but I think our fight right now is getting the information out, is getting things we can sign to get more people to know. That's our fight right now. There may come a day when people know about this and these people won't give up their microwave weapons and police are on our side and then we will get to fight. Uh, in, in a physical way. I don't know. I don't know. That's far away. Um, I think it would, it's, it, they're going to get banned. We get the information out. They're going to get banned. We're going to have some senators and representatives on our side, but it's going to have to come from something big like that because you can't call one policeman over and he solves the whole microwave weapon problem. Um, it's going to have to be people who have a lot of pull and who aren't too scared to, to do it. And I think that we have a lot of people who know about this that probably don't want it going on, but, uh, you know, they're scared. They're scared. If they say anything about it, you know, it'll get used on them. Um, it really is horrifying. I trust in God, and I trust in Jesus. Um, you know, I feel like, not just because of Green Bank, but this new job, and me ignoring these people. I ignore him. I can, I, I'm making this video, so that's not ignoring him. He probably will try and use this to flip and flop some stuff around and be able to turn it up or whatever. I, I have to make these videos. I'll, I'll always make these videos. Um, and I'm transparent with y'all. What I, and, and what I do is I know each video isn't going to receive a ton of views. It's not going to go viral. But I'm trying to make the channel go viral. I'm try, you know, I've got 21,000 views right now, and I'm trying to get the channel to have a big count so that it can get people in there, people who, who aren't targeted individuals, so they can learn about it. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if it's exacerbated my gang stalking. I don't know if it, it would, everything would have happened just the same. Um, I don't care because uh, that's what, in my heart, in my soul, the Holy Spirit... Uh, told me to make videos like this from the heart, speaking about it as much as I could. Um, I think I think everybody should. We can't be scared of these guys. Um, but uh, but but I wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and um, I'll be making some more videos before Christmas. Because um, this never. I mean, he's not going to stop tonight. Uh, I don't know when it or if he would ever stop unless forced to. Um, you know, my mom said I'm going to have to move out of that house soon. Um, but that's not the deal. It's like I'll go to my parents' house and he'll say the same thing, like I want him out of there. And he means he wants to kill me. These guys double speak, And then so regular people around him are like, oh, well, you got him out of the house. I don't understand. Why are you still doing it? And he's like, I want him out of here. 
because he's so you know smart that he can say a sentence and it means two things. Uh, it's it's really gross. Um, I love you guys. Uh, just be good. Be good. Ignore them. Uh, protect yourself. Uh, you know, with shielding. Um, don't don't give them what they want. If you're getting hurt in your house, just leave. You know, leave for a little while. Um, you know, do the smart thing. Uh, because if you do anything violent or you scream or you holler, you're going to look like the crazy person because they can just sit calmly at their little torture uh, their little torture stations and just torture you and they can be all calm about it. Oh, no, no, he's crazy. We got to kill him or whatever. Um, so so it's going to, that's what they, they want you to. They want you to act out. They want you to hit walls. They want you to scream. They want you to, to, to get out of your house and scream. You know, these things will put you away. It'll put you away because there's not enough information. The people that do have the information are complicit in it. Um, we don't have enough of a, of a hold where good people can help us yet. So we've got to get the information out. We've got to be as peaceful as Gandhi while we're doing this. But don't sit there and take the pain. Get out of your house. Uh, go, go talk to some friends. Um, you know, make a video. Uh, do something to get it out. Um, you know, there are a lot of things you can do. i um, just saying, if you do something violent or you confront or whatever, call the police if you need to. If you haven't overused the police, call the police and say, my neighbor, you know, he's got these high-pitched sound emitters. I think he's, he's whatever he is doing, you know, uh, say you've seen him. Like, I saw my guy in the window with one of these weapons, uh, you know, try and prove it to the cops. Um, that, that hasn't been the easiest thing for me, and I, I haven't succeeded uh, but if you feel like you need to do something, go through policemen. Um, gosh, uh, you know, I'll make some more videos later. Just happy Thanksgiving. Um, we can do this. We will prevail. Don't give up. Don't give up. Be yourself. Be a good human being. Pray to God. Pray to Jesus. Pray to them. And they will give you uh, peace. Um, in the time that you need peace, uh, use you know heavy duty aluminum. Uh, what I'm doing now, and I'll show, I'll make a video tomorrow. Um, you know everything was coming down because it's such heavy aluminum and aluminum polyester, and it uh, collects. But I got a little rope, um, you know, one of those one of those ropes that stretches, and I put the rope and I nailed it to each side. So it's, it would be a good thing if you got two uh, like ropes or, or those stretchy ropes. Uh, you know, nail them in to each side of a of a um, of your wall. Then drape stuff over. It. You know, drape stuff like aluminum, polyester, real aluminum. Um, the tape, man, is just a mess. Like it doesn't stay up forever. It'll <laughs> excuse me. Like it'll work for a while, but then it, the the goo starts to come off and. Uh, so I think a better way would to build up your sides. And I'll show you what I've done so you can kind of maybe do something better. I mean, my house looks like a mess. It looks like a, a crazy person lives there. And I guess a crazy person does live there. I mean, I know all this stuff is going on. But um, to the rest of society, it will be considered a delusion. Uh, there's one thing you got to know about me, though. Um, like, I, I hope and I pray that God's will is to deliver us from this. And I think he will. I don't think he will. I know he will. Um, but even in the future, these videos I'm making, when people know this, because it will come out, um, I'm just, I want it sooner than later. But um, I'll be vindicated. And any of you making videos, you'll be vindicated. So don't feel crazy. Don't feel crazy, because this stuff is real. And people can be like, well, that's how schizophrenia, schizophrenia presents itself and blah 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 and you know 20 they i tell people like i got i've got 21,500 views on this channel about gang stalking they have to put in gang stalking to get there and they're like oh well, those are all sick people and they believe the exact same thing i mean people will do whatever they need to to uh you know to deny this because it's so horrible it's so horrible and deadly and dangerous. They'll do anything 
to to deny it, and and you gotta you can't get mad at them, you can't get mad at them, um, because there's some good people. They just can't go there, because like a lot of the conspiracy facts in our world, people can't believe. And I'm not gonna go into them, but there's a lot of bad stuff that our government has done, and I don't think I, I, no no not our government has done, but people in our government who are on not the side of our country. But they're in these organizations, and they're corrupted, and they use their positions, and they betray America. That's the people I'm talking about. I'm not talking about our government or our, our good congressmen or our good senators. I'm talking about people who get these positions, and they don't care about that position, and they don't care about America, and they use their position for corruption and to kill people. That's who I'm talking about, and those people are really false Americans. They're false Americans. And they're false in their in their um, you know whatever whatever uh, station that they are in that has authority that's false and corrupt and they're they're way more than them who do their job right who care about Americans who don't kill people for no reason there's more of them but these people have kind of they, they act they act and they murder and they they have all these manipulations and the people that that really do believe in America and are good. They just try and do their job. They just try and do. They're not manipulating. They're not. They don't have a plan. You know, they're they're acting on reflex. When somebody gets hurt, they're there for that. Um, see, we gotta we gotta be careful about you know what we say. These organizations aren't evil. It's people in these organizations who are using them for corrupt means, and they are traitors and criminals, and they don't belong in those organizations. Um, so that's who I'm talking about. I don't hate the army. I love the army. There are people who have fought and died for my freedom. My grandfather, both of my grandfathers were in the army. Um, policemen go out every day. They go out every day and they face gangsters and real death. Um, DH, uh, Homeland Security, NSA, they look out for us. But there are people within these organizations who are killing Americans. And those are the people that, that I point my finger at that has caused all this, and there's no reason for it. They just do their job. They arrest the dangerous people. There's no reason to microwave people in their houses. There's no reason at all for that. There is no reason. If somebody gives you a reason for that, they've given you a bad reason. If it's some kind of depopulation or they're you know, trying to gain money for, for their... Um, you know, their station or whatever. It's, it's, that is criminal. It's criminal. I'm, I'm getting off too much, and I'm getting angry. Um, stay strong. Stay strong. I, I would not communicate with your attackers at all, at all. You know, I've been getting up for two weeks, and it's been two weeks. And I get up for work, and I get in my bathtub. I, I get cleaned up fast. You know, I struggle because right when I get out of that enclosure... Um, I hear this guy, I hear him, and he's like, he's crazy. I mean, this is while I'm getting ready to go to work, while I'm driving to work, while I'm at work all day. His job is to sit in his house and torture me and try and make me fail and try and not let me help my family and try and get me out on the streets so he can get me easier. That's his job. And I, and, and, and I don't know about where the money goes or who, you know, I think he's getting money. Because I don't know why else somebody would, you know, torture somebody at their job unless they're getting something. Unless he's getting something. Um, and it's like a job. His lights are on in the front. Even my friends. My friends who are confused and don't look, they're like, their lights are on all night. That guy, the guy, the organizer for this, he has two daughters and a wife. His front lights are on every night from whenever it gets dark to in the morning time. His front lights, all of his front lights are on. Because you can't aim this stuff and you can't get these, you know, microwave shooters unless you have light to target on somebody. So he has, I mean, this is like, in this is within two years. This is the last two and a half years. He has had his lights on every night in the front. And he is an anal army guy. I mean, he's not going to sit there and leave all of his lights on and be like, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. He, he's pretty tight. He's tight with his discipline, and he's tight with his torture. You know, he tortures 24 hours a day. He's not going to leave some lights on and pay that money unless he needed those lights to be on. Um, 
But anyway, I digress. There's so much stuff in context that I can prove this guy is doing it, uh, which is sad because nobody believes me or whatever. And y'all, y'all have a taste of that. I mean, go to my YouTube channel, and this is not me. This is what I meant to do. I meant to do this because I think I realized that some. It's a lot of people are going to have to know, and these things are going to have to be banned. It's not going to be one cop that takes down uh, this whole system of microwaving people in their homes. And so I said, okay, well, I see these videos, see people getting about 400 views in three months or whatever. And I said, well, I'm, I, I want bigger views. So I make video after video after video because I have enough to say. I'm always being tortured. So I had, you know, there's always something for me to make a video about. You know, I've stepped back lately after I went to Green, Green Bank and a little bit before then. So I'm trying to think it out more because these guys, you know, they're, they're probably watching my videos. And I'm scared they're going to, you know, uh, use me doing a video to, to, to hurt our cause or something like that. You know, I'm getting a little bit paranoid. A little bit paranoid. And I'm very paranoid. What, what am I saying? I'm paranoid because there, there is a group of people organized gang stalking me. So, you know, I'll go ahead and readily admit that. And they could be driving a car... I could drive out right now, and there'd be a one one uh, headlight car, you know, following me somewhere. Like, yeah. So paranoia is part of this, um, but we got to be paranoid against the right people and trust the right and the the people who can help us. Um, but anyway, I've been talking a long time. I'm having a good Thanksgiving. Um, you know, it does. Have, there's a psychological component to this. So ignoring a psychopath who's trying to shoot stuff at you from a distance, it really does affect it, um, you know, if you, if, you don't, um, if you don't start throwing your fists into the tar, baby. Because if you start throwing your fists into the tar, baby, which means talking to him or banging walls, you're going to be stuck in him, and you, you're going to have tar, you're going to be trying to pull out, and there's tar all over you. You know, just stay over, let him throw tar at you, and you can just clean the tar off. <laughs> that was a that was a horrible metaphor, but I love you guys. Uh, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're finding peace. Um, I found peace in this. My family loves me. Uh, I have friends who will, man, they'll get me jobs and they'll help me. And it just God has provided. It sucks being tortured. Like uh, this guy will hit me in the chest. He hit me in the chest. Um, you know, at my workplace and. It like spread throughout my arms, and it was just like I couldn't even breathe. He's hit me at my parents' house like that. At work, I he hit me that hard, and I and I um, I realized that one of my um, one of my Q Wave personal defenders was off. So these things really do work. I mean, they create a field around you um, where they can't they can't hurt you too bad. And, um, you know, I still have those, those plates against the wall. When I move, that'll be the real challenge. Because when I move those things, um, you know, and he, he's freed up his remote terminal, like his remote torture terminal, um, that'll be a real test. Um, but, but, you know, I'll figure, I'll figure all that out um, as, as, as well as I can. Um, I love you. I love you guys. I really love you. Um, I hope you're doing good. Like I've had a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you've you've enjoyed your family, and I hope you haven't been alone. And if you are alone, you're not alone because I'm here wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. And we're going through the same thing, so don't feel alone because we're together. Um, you know, I really want you to know that it's hard for our people to get together. We all have paranoia. Um, but it's time to start trusting your heart. Look into your heart. Say, can I trust this guy? What is he sounding like? Not, not me, but people around you. Because there are tons of good people around you. These people put the, the gang stalkers near you, so that's all you think the world is. Um, we've got to beat this. We've got to beat this. Um, especially, like All of us, we're the good guys. These guys are killers. They're using our laws to protect us in our homes to be able to kill us with impunity so we can't defend ourselves. Um, we've got to use our minds, no matter how much they're microwaving our heads or whatever. Um, pray to God, like, he will get us out of this. Um, and he already has gotten me out of it in, in a lot of different ways. Be smart. 
Uh, don't waste a bunch of yelling and hitting walls so that you'll so they'll be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, he's crazy. See, we need to get him out of here. So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to cause a situation. That's what the Hegelian dialectic is. It's uh, it's it's doing something real bad, then getting a reaction from it, and then coming in with an even worse solution. And and you know, I'm afraid to say that our government and our army has used this tactic many times in war. And I'm thinking it's a trickle down effect. These guys who are shooting people with microwaves, they're using the same thing. Because there's no reason to shoot anybody with the microwave and kill them uh, in a private home. There's no way. If you, if you never knew them, they're in a private home and they've never crossed paths with you and they've never done any violent crimes, there's no reason to torture them, judge them, and watch them naked. Uh, so they have to make a lot of stuff up, and that's called the Hegelian dialectic. And throughout our history, um, our military uses it, other militaries use it. It's a very militaristic thing when they want war, when they want a war and, a, and they want the public to support that war. Um, and that's what this guy is doing. You know, he wants the neighborhood to support him. He wants you know, his, his police friends to support him. He wants his army buddies to support him. So he has to make a big narrative about me being crazy and I need to die and all this. And it's insanity. It's insanity. It's complete insanity. There's not even a, a use for it. I never did anything to him. The worst thing I've ever done is smoke pot. So it's, it's complete insanity. It's trying to make a peaceful person and trap them and make them look dangerous and cause problems. I mean, the guy called the cops and said that I had a knife, so he was looking forward to a shooting, like, in the neighborhood. It's really violent and ridiculous. Um, and I am not violent and ridiculous. I'm a very logical, reasonable person. Um, I, I want to have friends and stuff like that. And, and I do, in this circumstance of these people torture me all the time, I do, by the grace of God, have friends and family. Um, but I know if he would get out of my life, I could make more money for my family. I'd have more friends. I could maybe get married and do the things that I've always dreamed. Um, it, it just doesn't make any sense why he's messing with me. There's no reason. Unless he has nothing to offer the world and he has no life, um, it doesn't even make sense then. You know, you, you find stuff to do for yourself. You do no harm. If you don't know somebody, there's no reason to kill them and torture them. I mean, I've been tortured for five to seven years, 24 hours a day without sleep. You know, uh, but God's got our back, and he'll make it all. I really, I really believe that he can, he can make even this. He can even make this into something beautiful where you thank him later. I have that, that faith. Um, I won't let go of it, um, you know, especially up until, you know, if this guy does kill me, because I know this stuff can cause cancer, but I'll never shut up about it. Uh, I'm not going to, I mean, because this, they don't want people getting information out. They don't want people being logical. They don't want people getting jobs. They don't want us sitting there with our loving family. They don't want us being normal. They don't want us fighting for peace. They don't want that stuff. They want you yelling at a wall, beating the wall, or going over to their house and yelling at them, you know, then they've got you where you want where they want you. Um we have to be smarter than that. And there may come a time when when we can get a policeman to go up to their house um and, and find the equipment. There may be a time, but right now we've just got to be a million times smarter than letting our passions run and um, you know doing something stupid where they can get they can make you look even worse and then they can hurt you worse. Um, but I love you guys. Stay strong. Like I'm still going to be looking for solutions to this, uh, peaceful solutions. I'm going to carefully talk to authority figures. Uh, I'm not done. I've only just begun, and I hope that's where y'all are at. I mean, this guy, he's like, oh, yeah, like, I've heard him on the V2K. He's like, it's over, it's over. He's, he's done. He's, he's not, like, they have to say that propaganda. He's military. Even if he's not winning, he'll say, like, yeah, it's over. We got him, blah, blah, blah. And bull, bull crap. I haven't even started, um, I haven't even started fighting this stuff. And I haven't even started, you know, co connecting with you guys and planning something so we can really get the word out and get some people helping us. I haven't, I haven't started. And y'all, y'all take that mentality too, that we haven't even begun. We haven't even begun. And you may be tired, um, you know, pray, 
try and get some rest any way you can. Um, we've got two lives to live. We've got to live our normal lives for our families because they don't believe us. And then we've got to be warriors. We've got to be soldiers in this. And I have not even begun. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's been five years of torture, but we can't give up because the whole, our whole future depends on it. Not just our lives, not just our family's lives, but uh, even this guy's daughter's lives, um, you know, kids, just kids, my, my niece's lives. We cannot let them live in a world where they can be microwaved in their house, and, and that's just a funny thing that doesn't mean anything. Um, human lives have to matter. They have to matter if we want our Constitution to work. If, if we want our country to work, human lives have to matter. They all have to matter. Um, and I love you guys. Um, I just want to end this in Jesus' name. Um, be strong. Don't give up. Because, like, we've only just begun. Um, all right. And, I, and I'll make some more videos later. I know I was a little bit serious on this one. Uh, it's a serious thing, though. I mean, taking somebody's life you don't know um, and slowly taking it, slowly torturing them uh, when they're not involved. They're not like a military combatant. It's a... Uh, it's a very serious thing. Um, this guy has reduced it down. That's what, that's what everybody who's doing this is going to do. Anybody torturing you is going to reduce it down to like, let's just burn this guy up or, you know, he's retarded or da 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 And they'll just reduce it. They'll reduce it so it doesn't mean anything. And human, they'll reduce human life so human life doesn't mean anything. Um, don't let them do that. You are a human and you have rights. You're in America or whatever country you're in. And I don't think just people in America have the right to life, liberty, and happiness. I think every human in the world has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If you're not killing people and you're trying to create and you're trying to love your family, you have every right to live. You have every right to not be tortured 24 hours a day. You have the right to have a connection to your God and your religion and to find peace on this earth. I, I completely believe that, not just for people in the U.S., but for people all around the world, no matter who you are, no matter who you, what your religion is, you have the right to fight for your life, you have the right to happiness, you have the right for freedom. You have these rights, these people cannot take them away from it, they are criminals. What they are doing is criminal, and they may be acting like they're authority figures and they can just kill people off. It is not true. It is not true under our Constitution. It is not, it's not true under just the natural way human life goes. Uh, so fight. Fight with your mind. Fight with your soul. Uh, talk to God. You know, Pray to Him vigorously. And you will have people around you helping you. Like he sent people around me helping me. You need to get this job. And it was the perfect kind of job. Even though the guys still torture, torture me and terrorize me on the job, it's a perfect job for that. Like, it, it, it cuts through that. Um, I love you guys. Don't give up hope. We've only just started. We've only just started. And I know you're tired. I'm tired. Five to seven years, my body's tired. Let your spirit consume you. Let, let that flame build up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Please don't give up. Um, and if you're lonely, I'm with you. Uh, God's with you. Jesus Christ is with you. If you're lonely and you don't... You know, your family's rejected you, and they just have shuffled you off. My family thinks I'm crazy, every member. I mean, but they still love me. But but if stuff is bad, and I'll be your family. I'll be your family. God will be your family. Jesus, you're never alone. You're never alone. So don't give up, okay? I love you guys. Um, have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a good weekend. Um, and more videos to come. Uh, good things have been happening in my life. Uh, even with this horrible stuff on my back, um, we've still got to believe that, that good can come from this. I love you. Peace be with you. Uh, light and love. I love you guys. Good night.